Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some beauty trends from 2017 that were kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but I am guilty of doing some of these things myself on social media. So take everything I say with a pinch of salt and don't take it any seriously because this video is just, whoa, <laughs> I just tipped something over. So yeah, this video is just about having fun and looking back at the silly trends of 2017 and hoping that none of them will return to 2018 because yeah, you'll see. Uh, they're kind of, some of them are just kind of but as I said, I've done some of these things myself. So makeup is just about having fun and playing around with products. So yeah, it's just, it's just fun to look back at some of these silly trends from 2017. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first trend that I am going to address is using all sorts of items as a beauty blender and to blend out your makeup. So I've seen like a, I've seen people use eggs. I've seen people use fidget spinners. I've actually seen someone use a phone to blend out their makeup. And it's just so crazy. I can't really see the point of this. So there is one more item that people have been using to blend out their makeup with, which is even more ridiculous than eggs and phones and fidget spinners. And I am of course talking about the condom outside of the beauty blender, which is, <sighs> I can't even <laughs> like why would you do this you can just use the beauty blender that's already inside of here and but you know I'm gonna try it out and show you how ridiculous and dumb this trend was which is and actually I can't even this is not even fun it's just I don't know it's just stupid but uh, it, it's really like ugh, sticky on my hands but um, yeah I'm gonna blend out my makeup with this so, Okay, I'm so excited and also scared. Oh my gosh, this feels so gross. Okay, I gotta like twirl this so it's not in the way. Like if some of my girlfriends would come over and we would like do our makeup together and they would like take out a condom and put their beauty blender in it, I would be like, girl, I can't believe I'm I'm tapping a condom on my face. I can't blend everything out, so I'm gonna like fish out the, the beauty blender out of this thing. <laughs> All the condom did was just mess up my makeup and make me look weird. So for 2018, I hope that we do not bring this trend back and I hope that we can officially say that this trend is dead because I do not want condoms in my beauty routine. So the next trend that I'm going to talk about is dousing your face in a lot of powder and then putting your face in water. And that's supposed to uh, make your makeup very long lasting and make it last the whole day. Uh, so we're going to try it out and I'm actually really excited about this because I've never tried this and it kind of looks fun but scary as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to just take my beauty blender and dip it into a lot of powder and just Put it all over my face. Oh my god, so much powder. Uh, we have. Because, yeah, oh, there's so much powder in my nose. I've never had so much powder on my face in my entire life. Okay, are we excited? Oh, or what? Okay, so I have my water right here that I'm going to dip my face in. <sighs> okay, I am officially saying that this was dumb and I almost choked on water. Not doing that again ever. This actually made my foundation look even worse. Like it looks so weird. I look what is wrong with my face? As it dries, like as my face dries down, it looks, oh my gosh, it looks like I'm peeling. It's just a powder that is showing through. I think it's because it's an HD powder, but oh my gosh, what is going on around my nose? 
Okay, you know what? We're just gonna keep going even though I look like a freaking ghost. Okay, so the next trend that I'm going to talk about is, of course, the weird brow trends of 2017. We have seen uh, feather brows, we have seen upside down brows, we have seen braided brows, we have seen squiggle brows, and we have also seen Actually, I saw this once. I don't know if I, it actually turned out to be a trend, but I saw a girl do like a ponytail on the end of her brow, which was like, like why? So I'm gonna do the squiggle, squiggle wiggle brow, and I've never done it, so uh, I'm excited. There's one squiggle. Oh yes. Okay, so first brow done, and I look fabulous with my squiggle brow. Easy, breezy, cover girl. So gorgeous! I kind of butchered this one. It kind of looks super weird, and it kind of looks like a little sperm cell kind of in the back here. So when it comes to lashes, there was actually just one trend that was kind of weird, uh, and that was when you apply like um, like single lashes upside down on your lashes. So we're gonna try it out. I'm, I'm really bad with single lashes, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, one. Kinda looks like I have like fly wings on my, uh, on my lashes. Let go, man. My tweezers just do not want to let go of my lashes. Do I look beautiful like the wind? Like, look at this. It literally looks like fly wings on my lashes, like insect wings. So now I have my lashes on point and all I have to say to that is, nope, no, 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 no. Okay, so there is another trend that includes false eyelashes that I'm gonna talk about. And this trend is just so ridiculous, so, the trend that I'm talking about is the nose hair extensions. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it's when you put false eyelashes and put it up your nose and they stick out. And it's so weird and I do not understand why anyone would want nose hair extensions. Like, ugh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it out. So I'm gonna take some lashes and put them up my nose. Okay, so what you do is you like, roll it into a little ball first like this and you just stick it up in there oh my gosh so here you go nose hair extensions on fleek okay so next trend that actually kind of needs to die now because it's been it's been around for a while. It's not just been around for 2017. It's also been around for 2016 as well. And I'm of course talking about contouring and not just contouring in general, but contouring with all sorts of items like utensils and shoes and uh, kitchen items and I don't know, just all sorts of things. And it's just so weird. And I just, I've never understood why people do that uh, because it's just so much easier to just contour with your hands like a regular person but yeah but that's not the only thing there's also another trend with contouring and that is writing stuff on your face while contouring and this one is actually one of the trends that i am super guilty of because i've done this several times and it's so dumb and i'm kind of embarrassed by it but it's perfectly fine because you know we've all had crocs too you know we have all at some point in life had crocs and this is my crocs this is my crocs of makeup <laughs> so yeah i have uh, written stuff on my face and blended it out and um yeah i'm not proud of it and i know it was super ridiculous and i still did it but it's so weird and yeah we're gonna do it today too uh so what i'm gonna contour with is actually a shoe which is perfectly normal Ah, oh, super easy. 
perfect contour. Oh my goodness, I got contour on my shoe. Okay, so we're also gonna write something on my forehead while I do the contouring because, you know, that's also so much easier than just doing your makeup normally. So, uh, and of course we don't want to make it difficult for ourselves. So we're gonna make it really easy. And we're gonna write, um, what are we gonna write on the forehead? It has to be something really inspirational and really like smart and intelligent. Oh my goodness, I forgot the nose. Of course, you need the shoe because you cannot do contour without shoes. Okay, so the other trend that I'm talking... So the other trend that actually has to die in 2018 is... I'm sorry, I've got to fix my nose hairs because they're falling out a little bit. So the trend that I'm talking about is clickbait and seriously that has to die in 2018 because it has been, it has gone too far. Like there's, I've seen videos where they have like some fluid running down their faces and it's all rainbow colored and you click on the video and it's just regular foundation and you're like, girl, where's the rainbows? Where is the rainbows? I click the video for the rainbows, where is it? And yeah, I've seen people like, they have like a lipstick and they're like putting it up their nose and be like, oh, what? Where is this lipstick gonna go? Am I gonna do lipstick in my in my nose? Which is actually not surprising if that will actually be a trend in 2018. But yeah, clickbait, it has to go, man. It has to go because it's just too weird and it's misleading and I don't know. So another trend that I'm kind of tired of is highlighters everywhere. And that was not just a trend in 2017. It was actually a trend in 20. 16 and it, I think it's actually going to be a trend in 2018 as well but it's it's just about highlighting everything and all different brands coming out with tons of highlighters like how many highlighters do you need like black highlighters pink highlighters like seriously black is not going to highlight anything it's just going to make you a black streak on your face which is like the weirdest thing why would you need black highlighter or pink highlighter there's just too many highlighters in the world right now I think too many highlighters and too many choices like if if someone like if a regular person wants to buy a highlighter like can you imagine how overwhelmed they must be of, of just all the highlighters and like even though you decide like okay i'm gonna go with that brand and i'm gonna buy a highlighter from that brand they will also have like thousands of different highlighters so you're gonna be like oh my god so first of all we're gonna do a streak of uh, stick highlighter so yes streak of highlight here and here 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 and let's just highlight everything just highlight the nose the curl force ball chin and then on top of that we're gonna apply a pink highlighter a lot of pink highlighter da, da, da. ah so highlighted and so pretty right now man Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah, who is that? It is a moon star. I don't know. I think it's a moon star. Like, nah, I think it looks not so pretty. Like, when I do this and you get the light straight to the cheek, it actually looks like a highlight. But when you go like this, it looks like streaks <laughs> of pink on the cheeks. And it looks really weird, if I may say so myself. I wish I had a black highlighter to show you, uh, but I do not have a black highlight. Wait a second, I so do. Let's put on some black highlight as well. Okay, so it's not completely black, it's like a purplish dark purple, but we're gonna highlight with the dark purple on top of the pink. I look so beautiful and not dirty at all. I just look like a glowy goddess from outer space. But like when you do this, it kind of looks cool. But when you go like this, it just does not look cool at all. So one of the last trends that I'm gonna talk about is lollipop lips. And I actually think that if it's done right, it can actually look really cool for like editorial purposes and stuff like that, for like uh, fashion shoots and stuff like that. But uh, for everyday 
everyday use and glam and stuff like that it just looks really gross and weird and we're gonna try out lollipop lips so we're gonna apply some pink lipstick straight on the lips oh and now I'm gonna take a brush and start uh, blending the lipstick outwards so it looks smeared Just literally looks like I have been making out for an hour with lipstick on. So yeah, that was the last trend that I had to show you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I didn't offend you if you like doing some of these things because of course I have done a lot of these things myself so you shouldn't be offended because we've all we all just love makeup here you know so it's perfectly fine to do weird things as well as long as you're happy and you like it and you're having fun so yeah i really really hope you enjoy this video this was actually not my idea i saw like the trends that need to die uh, uh video that jackie Aina did last year and i was so inspired so i thought i would do a video like that next year so i did and here we are in 2018 uh, so yeah, I've actually seen a lot of other people do these kind of videos as well and I think they're so much fun to watch because people have different um, different ideas of what type of trends that they didn't like or yeah, stuff like that. So I think it's really fun to watch and look at those kind of videos. So I wanted to do one myself as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it and if you want more videos like this where I'm just, I don't know, just being weird, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.